Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. I have been working into the software industry from a couple of years on Unix uh, platform and several other technologies. Uh, I thought of sharing or exploring my knowledge on YouTube. So thought of just starting with the pearls, uh, pearls uh, basics. So let me uh, start with the pearls basics. So in this video, I would be covering about what is a Perl and uh, if possible time permits, I'll be showing you a sample Perl program and uh, Perl variables and operators and functions. So let's go and look into the what is exactly what is a Perl means. Okay. I can say Perl is a, a scripting language, right? And uh, and we say the abbreviation for the Perl is called as a practical extraction and reporting language. Perl is commonly used through uh, from many of years in software industry or an IT industry, especially for an automation things. For example, uh, let me take this example. So there are two different systems. Uh, one I can say as an uh, Windows Server System and other is a Unix system. From Windows Server System, a client is transmitting his own data. Let us take an example. It is it may be related to a banking data. Okay, so its record size is like 500 bytes or 2000 bytes, and that data need to be stored in a DB2 table or an a SQL table, right? So, what we have to do is we have to reformat the data and we have to load it into this particular table. So, table has its own structure and uh, the what are the data that is re we have receiving from a client or a Windows server that has a different structure. So, now we need to convert this into a specific structure and load it into a database. So, uh, we have several other scripts that we can do it but using Perl it can be done very fast so that means we can uh, there might be some manual interruption so in order to reformat the data and load it into your database so before that if you're using this Perl script you can just directly extract the data and you can reformat the data and create another output data and just give an input to the database so that it gets updated into the database records okay and we are saying as practical extraction and reporting language as a Perl Perl is called as in a language uh, and Perl is, is called as a compiler also. So if you look at C, so when you first what is the thing you will be writing, you will be writing a C code, uh, you will be writing a C programming and then you compile it, then you get an object code, then then you execute and then you get an executable code, right? So there will be a set of things. So Perl, when if you write a simple program and just save it and just run it, so it itself compiles and bytes and everything happens at the, at the same time. So that's the reason it is called as a Perl is a language and Perl is a compiler. Now let's talk about the typical users of Perl. So, so far I have discussed you one sample example. Now I would like to show you the typical users of Perls. Perl is used for text processing, right? So text processing, when I say text processing, that's the example that I have said. So on Windows Server, you'll be receiving a tab delimited file or a space delimited file or a comma delimited file. So where you can, we want to reformat the data or you want to sort the data or you can't, you want to concatenate or combine the data there you can do using Perl that is possible and it's very faster. And it is mainly it is also used for system administration tasks and uh, it is used for CGI that is computer graphics interface and web programming so nowadays you can see it was very much used uh, when there was much boom in on Java or dot net uh, web programming applications type so but now still many uses CGI and web programming with the Perl okay so database interactions so as I said you can directly interact with the different databases, the different databases that we have in the present world. There will, there will be many databases like Sybase, SQL Server, TB2, Oracle, Hive, and there are there are several uh, applications or the database application that it can directly interact uh, interact with that 
interact with the Perl uh, using Perl we can interact with the particular databases and uh, other internet programming you can use it so Perl is being used by many of the electronic students or the computer students or the mechanical students so based on their work they are doing so these are the typical uses of Perl uh, I hope I might be st I, I will be stopping this video here and I will be coming up with more and more uh, information about the pearls and uh, this will be the complete journey of the pearls I on I not only will be covering uh, the t uh, pearl basic but also I will be going up with the sample pearl programs and uh, the advanced div different topics in the pearls like operators functions arrays variable declarations and so on there are many different things and we'll be giving and I will be explaining with you as some example of whatever we are doing and will come will compare with the real-time example so where this is used what this is used how this is used and when it has to be used and we are going to see many things but thank you so much for watching this video have a great and pleasurable day or an evening